shit. I hated it. I hated working in the medical field. For the simple fact of like, I just never wanted to be there. I would do anything to like call into work. And I didn't just call in, like you guys call in with like a flat tire and like sick. Like I made up a full pregnancy into a miscarriage, into the looming depression following that miscarriage. I got myself about three weeks off of work. Uh, so take that, corporate America. Yeah. Good luck questioning it. Um, no, but I ended up quitting that job because I quit every job I've ever had, um, every sport I've ever played. I really quit everything except for whiskey and weed. And that's just because I don't give up on the ones I love. You know? It's true. It's true. Absolute. Um, one thing I do think we should give up on, though, as a society, and it's a 69 position. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I enjoy, I enjoy getting it just as much as you do. And I enjoy, you know, like, this as well. But I'm just saying, at no point during foreplay, should I be staring directly into your asshole? You know, like, <laughs> Uh, it's not working for you. She agrees. Oh. <laughs> no, it's funny, like, like the asshole is such a it's a, such a taboo subject for most people. Not for me though, it can't be. because um, I don't know if you've watched any of my porn, I do anal. <laughs> Shocker. Um, uh, but the thing about anal is there are some downfalls from time to time. And what I'll explain to you is when you're done with a porn set, it's not like hanging around for cocktail hour. It's like, there's the bathroom, here's a check, Jimmy's waiting to take you to the airport. Okay? It's like, <laughs> wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So I'll be at the airport after an anal scene, and here's the downfall, folks. <laughs> Typically, your asshole is a very, very tight thing, right? <laughs> However, when you put things inside it, it expands. <laughs> when it's tiny, you can control what comes in and out of it. When it expands, you cannot. <laughs> so I'll be walking through an airport, and all of a sudden, <laughs> like, I have two options right now. I can be mortified, or I can play it out, motherfuckers. So I'm walking through the airport, and you hear that, look over at me and I'm like <laughs> we call that joke horse hole that's what we call that oh but as shameful as assholes are men are still trying to get inside of them you know like accidentally do you think we don't know the difference <laughs> because let me explain the difference to you it's the difference between pleasure and someone sticking a dick in your ass. Okay? We can tell. And gentlemen, if you get a lady nice enough to let you stick it in her pooper, don't be surprised if it comes out wearing a little shit suit, okay? A little crap cap for it. That's after all where shit comes from, okay? You don't ask for blowjobs and be like, but I don't want you to spit it on my dick. If you would just not spit on it, that'd be great. No, that's because that's not how that works. <laughs> okay? And while we're on the subject, ladies, blowjobs. Okay. I got a lot of fans here. And typically I say you don't have to like them, but you got to give them. Apparently we like them. I like that. That's good. That's good. But what I will say is that you don't have to do it on their terms any longer. Yes. If you are a lady giving head, you get to do it whenever you want. Okay? <laughs> Like, if you're losing an argument, ladies, nope. I'm not losing this argument <laughs> any longer. Second time, I really like to give them. If you're not a big fan of the mom, on the way to Sunday brunch, go down on her son. By the time you get to dinner, give mama a big old kiss on the cheek. That's your son's dick on your face. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have called me a whore. <laughs> oh, no, it's funny. I um, I don't, uh, I don't date a lot anymore. And uh, this lady like that's because you're a whore. <laughs> that's accurate. I actually do engage in sex for money. Um, but in my defense, I was a much bigger whore before porn. 
Uh, really though, I mean, all the industry did for me was like get me tested, provide me with clean partners, and cut me a check. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I won like the best game of Would You Rather edition. <laughs> They're like, Would you rather continue killing mythical babies in corporate America, or take clean hot dick for money? <laughs> uh, yes, Alex, I'll take being a whore for two thousand. <laughs> Oh, it's shocking that I'm not like a mean a lot of parents these days and that someone so successful and classy as myself. So I think that's crazy. I love to date though. I love like the cuddling in like a dating situation, you know, like the um, big spoon, little spoon. Yes, we all love it. We love it until until when? Until your stomach starts doing those little stomach bubbles. <laughs> you know. Where your body says, I ain't got a shit. <laughs> or at the very least, fart, right? And so that little fart bubble makes its way all the way down to your asshole. <laughs> and your asshole expands to let that out. And then your brain catches up and it's like, no! <laughs> Sucks it back in. But my thought is, my asshole is puckered up directly against his cock. Like, how did he not feel the expansion contraction of my asshole on his cock, you know? It's crazy. I don't know. I, knew, I do know one thing. I know that as women, we will go through leaps and bounds just to not let you know that we fart or that we shit, okay? And it happens. I hate to break that to you. It does. Um, but one time in particular where I was trying to hide this back from a gentleman, uh, he had a studio apartment, and the asshole went ahead and put the bed right next to the fucking bathroom. <laughs> and one morning I wake up, and I'm like, okay, those stomach bubbles, I gotta, something has to happen. So I go into the bathroom before he wakes up, and I start to splash my face with water, and I'm like, okay, this is gonna go away. <laughs> and my body's like, no, bitch, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so I can now hear him waking up like i can hear the sheets moving okay like if i can hear the sheets he can hear everything in this echo bound bathroom i'm in you know so my thought was well then just shit in your hand <laughs> i don't know like that was my thought i don't know what would you do shit. so well i wrapped it up in toilet paper i mean i layered that motherfucker and then I shit into my own hand. <laughs> like, I know you all have picked up dog shit, so you feel that warm feces on the other side of that, but this is your own feces <laughs> in your hand, and I just have to slip it into the water like Moses' mother, you know, right into the river. 